Hey, right beside me, we have a pretty, a pretty green looking 1975 Chevrolet three quarter ton. That's the C20 model as Chevrolet called them. You know, it's been off the road since 1998, which is, which is a long time. Since then, it's been used as the occasional yard vehicle as far as I know anyways, I'm not really sure. Knowing what we know about this vehicle, I'm thinking that today we can start it, get it running, drive it on out of here, and turn it into a downtown commuter for tomorrow morning. Now, keep in mind that I do use words like start and run and Drive? Yeah, drive. And I guess today, pretty loosely. Like, really, yeah, like very loosely. Yeah, this, anyways, let's, let's just get going. We, yeah. In case you're wondering why I need a commuter for downtown tomorrow, there's a bunch of reasons. Well, like two actually. Reason one, I have a super swanky meeting tomorrow morning downtown that I just can't miss. Reason two, I lost all the brakes in my daily. I crawled underneath and noticed about 28 feet of rotten devastated brake lines. I determined the cause to be winter and Canada. I'll crawl underneath and show you some of that devastation. I'm not sure if you can see this, but every time I press on that brake, that fluid just leaks out all over the place. You can see that, that's all brake fluid. So it's quite devastated really. Which got me thinking, it's probably going to be easier at this point to try to get another truck running rather than to, you know, shop for and cut and plumb and bleed and just finagle 28 feet of rotten brake line. I'm probably dead wrong, but we'll give it a shot anyways. Anyways, as the folks downtown say, time is money. Let's get going. At first glance, it really doesn't look too bad. At second glance, it looks, it looks pretty awesome. I am a fan of this push bar and oh my goodness. Is this a blocky record? It could be. Man, this thing really is awesome. Body is fairly straight, fairly rust free. I mean, we have some surface rust, you know, here and here and there and pretty typical though. I mean, nothing that you can't just scuff out. Bit of a hole here. Rockers are a little soft, but not too bad really. Tire even looks like it's holding air, but soft. What do we have for tires? We have 16s and rough rider. Hmm. I'm hoping these tires don't live up to their name because I'm a fan of smooth to medium smooth rides. I'll take what I can get though. We have a little TLC patch here. Poverty Plainsman special or Plainswoman. We don't know. Everything is intact. Bit of a dimple here in a box, but you can just jack that out. Tires holding air. That is, 
Oh, that's good news. Like I said, fairly straight. We have a straight tailgate. Bumper even looks straight, you know. Bit of a bit of a dip here, but you could probably just jack that out, no problem. Did I? Oh my goodness. Is that a new brake line? Looks like it. You know, when you put seven or eight coils in there like that, that increases stopping power. I'm just kidding. I really don't know why that's there. Does this open? Oh, but that's okay. We don't need that for now. This side looks better even than the other side, really. Tires are holding air. Doors there. Ooh, we got the same Poverty Plainsman or Woman TLC patch. Oh my, you know, I don't know what to say. This is probably by far one of the most clean interiors I have ever seen. Dash looks nice, barely even a crack. I mean, we got one here and here and there and there, but oh my goodness, is that a snow brush? Like pretty much like new. That's a win. I'll make a new wind pile over here. There you go. We have look at that, eh? 1975, 350. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna just get you on in here. I'm gonna stand this up. Bit of a tripod failure, but whatever. We'll just keep looking. I'm gonna need this, so let's just, you know, that's that's a wind pile. We have, what else do we have? Clean, like I said, not too much. We have, ooh, what do we have here? This extension cord looks pretty good. Throw an end on there and we're in business. I consider that a win. Oh, you go. What do we have in here? Never really. Oh, look at these things. Just a little. There we go. Ooh, look at this. We got some propaganda in here. Nineteen ninety-eight. That's what I've been told. We have some other stuff in here, like this old Midas thing. That's kind of cool. We can kind of. Well, we will go through that later. I want to see if this thing runs. We have some ketchup. I don't know if it's still good though. We have ashtray. It's been, oh yeah, she's been put to the test. We have keys. That's a major win. We have modern radio. It's kind of cool. That's odd, it didn't have the cigarette lighter. Actually, never mind, it did. There you go. That was the GM option. We'll just, there you go. Anyways, so that's a little bit of it. Fairly complete then. I just kinda wanna see if she runs. In the box we have Oh, we have numerous, numerous beverage cans, and I think those are old containers of hydraulic oil, which tells me the previous owner really knew how to have a good time. Anyways, let's go check this engine out. Want this. 
side. I'll take you in here. We have a small block. That air cleaner lid was right. And a fairly complete small block at that one. I mean, she's had a few mods done to her. Fuel system's been bypassed and secured in place. Hmm, mice seem to have been happy. We have, not too sure what to make of this. Ooh, that's, uh, that's, oh, hello. Looks like somebody really, really didn't like side post terminals. Ooh, that's clean. Does it have a, oh, that's a good sign. When you see sticks in your carb, that's, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to break that off in there just yet. Let's. Let's put a pin in that and take it from there. We have a belt. Um, fuel pump's there. It's got an HEI distributor. It's there. Plugs are there. So let's get in and start checking for what we need here. Good news is it's here and it's complete couple minor touch-ups and we'll see what we got to work with. I'm thinking probably a good idea to get rid of this and you know this custom cable extender here. I'm just gonna throw on a set of these side post terminals. Kind of a GM special so might as well. Got that off. I'm just gonna give it a quick clean. Oh yeah. There we go. I'm gonna kind of ease that in. We'll have this ready to go, I'm hoping soon. We're gonna test it like this. We should have some better results. Here's hoping, right? While I'm at it, I should probably remove this custom fuel system. It's it's in a way. So let's do that too. A new GM now. Perfect. Beauty. Let's just go ahead and start. Why is this so finangled? Ah, here we go. Oh, yep, no, that's not gonna, yep. Hmm, this is, this will come in handy. We're just gonna, that'll go in the wind pile. Whoa. Nailed it. Let's just keep going. All right, fuel jug out. One more cable and we should be good to try it out. Is that the factory jack? Hmm. 
pretty much brand new. And two new terminal ends. Kept the leads here the same color for, for aesthetics and organization. Don't want too many colors, just throwing, throwing folks off happens. Anyways, this is a side post, so I'm gonna need a different battery, which no big deal. I know where there is one. Anyways, let's go grab it. And boom, right in the noggin, just get out of there. Good news, I managed to find a top post and side post battery. Even better news is it's out of a tiny econo box, so it should be just perfect for trying to start this tired old three quarter ton. What I'm gonna do first is just throw one cable on, kind of get that in before throwing on both. So I'm just gonna gently snug that down. Just like that. Now, before throwing both on, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a test. This truck has like zero power options, so it shouldn't spark or arc out or anything like that. If it looks like a 7018 welding rod sparking, I recommend just shutting down your vehicle starting mission. No sparks, I don't hear anything, I don't smell anything. I think we're good to tighten this down and see what we have at the key. Let's see what we have. See if we have life to the starter now. Okay. Success. Okay. I like to generally check my brakes first because if they're low, you add some of that fluid in. Sometimes it'll bubble down slowly and you may just get some of your brakes back. Actually, we have fluid. That's a good sign. But we'll top her off anyways and let some of that just bubble down. Nice. Yeah. Just leave that hang loose there. You bubble down. Oil is, oh, that coming out easy. Oil is, whoa, severely overfilled. I'll just double check that, it can't be that bad. Maybe it can. Oh yeah, there's a lot of gas in it, so we'll, we'll dump that. rad is 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 you know what come on you this is the most awkward position never open hot more like never open period come on there you go rad is empty but not dry so that's a good sign she hasn't been parked too, too long. No automatic, so no, no dipstick for that tranny. I think she's okay to crank. Let's, let's throw some gas down there and try to start it. Let's see what we have. See if we have life to the starter now. Success. Okay. I like to generally check my brakes first because if they're low, you add some of that fluid in. Sometimes it'll bubble down slowly and you may just get some of your brakes back. Actually, we have fluid. 
that's a good sign. But we'll top her off anyways and let some of that just bubble down. Nice. Yeah. Just leave that hang loose there. You bubble down. Oil is, oh, that coming out easy. Oil is, whoa, severely overfilled. Let me just double check that, it can't be that bad. Maybe it can. Oh yeah, there's a lot of gas in it, so we'll, we'll dump that. Rad is, 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 you know what? Come on, you, this is the most awkward position. Never open hot. More like never open, period. Come on, there you go. Rad is empty, but not dry. So that's a good sign. She hasn't been parked too, too long. No automatic. So no, no dipstick for that tranny. I think she's okay to crank. Let's, let's throw some gas down there and try to start it. So we know we have oil. We know we have something in a rad probably. And brakes are kind of doing their thing and blub, 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 bubbling down. Let's, let's try to throw some gas down there and start it. I like to mix a little two cycle oil in my gas because that's a little extra lube for the top end and I'm a firm believer in every little bit helps. So I'm actually gonna try to fill up the bowl here. Nice thing about these gear oil bottles is they really come in handy for stuff like this. Look at that. I can just kind of squeeze it down there. Drink, drink. Oh wow, you're taking quite a bit. Oh, that's, that's, ooh. Pour a little bit down there too. Let's give it a shot. Here goes nothing. Oh, are we neutral? Yes, we are. little more maybe why not it seems legit take two All right, okay, so let's hook up a fuel system and get her running, warm the oil slightly, drop it and see what she's got. Since this fuel system was already pretty much disconnected, it's gonna take me all of 12 seconds to hook up my own here. Before doing so, I like to take some of that two cycle oily mixed gas stuff, just kind of lube up that diaphragm in the fuel pump, you know. Just let her gurgle down there and sit a few minutes and again, every little bit helps, right? There she goes. Beauty, eh? It's gonna rest you there upright I said upright that's eh, mostly there so fuel system hooked up which was literally one clamp for the electric fuel pump just gonna fill up the bowl and I'm gonna pump it 
Oh yeah. Whoa, that's that's full. Okay, we're gonna see if she runs on her own and lifts fuel on her own too. Goes nothing. Look at that. Okay, that's, that's fantastic. Let's, she's been running for, I don't know, three, five minutes now. So we're just going to let her warm up here. Another minute. Check on that. And kind of see what we need to do next. That's 50 50. It's going to air up these tires, which should give me a little more room to kind of get in here and drop that oil and check what else I need to check under there. Normally I stick a jack in here and lift it up and watch it sink into the ground in hopes of taking weight off these, but you know what? These are holding air. They're just a little soft. So I think this should do. Come on. Ooh. That gave me like a quarter inch. Uno mas. That means Time for another. Passenger side ones looked okay to roll on out of here, I'm hoping. Oh yeah. Pretty much have everything I need here for this oil change. Personally, I prefer these refrigerator box cardboard pieces because they're extra cushy, you know? They're thicker than your standard 1 8 cardboard. It's, you know, one of those little luxury touches. So we're just gonna engage that. Just like, oh, there you, there you go. Have all my other tools I need for the oil here. I have my drain pan. wrench, impact driver, canister wrench. Oh, we're off. Once again, I'm going to be going with Shell 1540. That's the Rotella diesel oil. It's a little heavier and nice thing about this diesel oil is it does have those extra anti-wear additives like zinc and moly and has quite a few extra detergents too, which are, well, let's be honest, this thing's going to need all the detergents it can get. Try to keep as clean as I can here. I am shooting all these videos with a cell phone I borrowed from a friend, so got to keep these hands clean. So I'm going to go for broke here and plumb in the factory tank, fill it up with some fresh gas, throw some stabilizer in and see if she runs on that. Let's, let's see, keep you updated. Managed to hook up the 
factory fuel line to the pump here. It was just a three with hose and clamp and done. I also managed to pull a sample of the fuel that was in here, which didn't look too bad. I mean, she's a shade yellowish brown, but there's no chunks of stuff in it and doesn't even, oh no, <laughs> that smells bad. <laughs> you know, it's a smell you'll never forget. So I'm just gonna dump some more of the stabilizer in. I run this STP stuff. I've had great luck with in the past and it's slightly cheaper than your brand name stuff. You know what they say, women love a man who knows how to save. That's, I, that's not true, I, I don't know. I don't know what anybody likes really. Let's just, let's just get this thing out of here. I don't even know if it's... And she's out. You know, it's running very good. We have pretty much everything we need, I think. We have 30 pounds of oil pressure at idle. Temperature gauge is just staying right there, which which is nice. This thing even has heat and she is working very well. Like, whoo, two clicks away from the gates of Hades there. Got my brush back in. This will be a frosty night, so. Brakes seem to be holding out. And clutch seems to grab really nice way. And all the gears are there. She doesn't jump out or anything. You know, I'm saying all this after driving a whole 55 feet or so, but I'm thinking that we can take her out there just for a loop around and maybe come back, check those filters. Hey, we may even have time to clean this thing before before sundown. That would be nice. Not necessary, of course, but not a bad idea. Anyways, are you ready for a ride? I know I am. And now. Now. Come on. Why does this all... Alright. First time on the road, 1998. but beautiful fall colors out here and we're just chugging away nicely. Forty 
35 miles an hour. No problem. I'll be taking more. These tires have some pronounced flat spots. Like, whoo! I'm just gonna kind of ease those in. I'll take it. Needs walking. Probably check those too again. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that a brand new GMC? Oh, she's she's nice. I've never seen this much traffic. No, I have. I I'll take that time. miles an hour, no problem. I don't know if we have a bent rim or tire with one of those panky bottoms, but other than that, 50, 55 now. Yeah. Boom. 55 MPHs. First time on a road since 98. Ran great, drove great, stopped great. Just gonna take a quick peek at the lights here. They seem to work, but I just wanna see them in those low lighting kind of conditions. Also gonna open up the hood. I'm gonna probably change the fuel filter again, and that should be it. She's ready. I'm quite confident that she can make a 30 mile trip, no problem. She cruised nice, drove nice, stopped nice. So let's just check on those lights and get ready to call it a day soon. Morning. So I had some time to check a few things over last night, but I didn't. The thing ran great and drove great and everything works. Like, check this out. Yep. 
even the factory horn button works so i'm feeling i'm feeling pretty confident in this square body so i'm thinking next stop downtown Ooh, which reminds me since we are going to a super swanky meeting we're gonna have to kick up the swank level just a little so i'm gonna do that right here right now with yeah let's there we go gonna come on right now this is kind of embarrassing really oh yeah do we do all the buttons oh there's there's a lot four yeah so huh sometimes you sometimes you just have to swank it up a little anyways let's get let's get going here wish me luck speaking of luck let's see if this thing starts gonna let it warm up here and might need that Whoa. finish this job Right, that's the highway I need. I'm just gonna have to wait here a minute. The good news is the sun and the heat are starting to melt that ice on the windshield, which, which is nice. You know, little things like being able to see you can really make your morning. Here we go. Okay, you can do it. So, yeah, let's just do that. Okay, yeah. All right, 
So, the old fuel filter was just, look at, oh, just plugged. So, got a new one in there. Hopefully that's that, and maybe we can limp a little further here. I love to run a little Teflon on all my lines because everything I touch just leaks. So, well, we're going to start it, check it for leaks, and we'll check it out. Seems to be leak free, but carb anyways in that fuel line. Notice the rad is leaking a little, but seems to be running cool. I don't, I don't, I'll just keep an eye on that. Maybe it just overfilled it there. So it's gonna take off the parking brake and next stop, downtown. She seems to have, you know, a little more power here. So, seems to run a bit better. She'll idle now without having to, well, maybe not. Yeah, oh no. She's not bad. And made it. We even had time to grab one of these swanky downtown coffees. They're bitter and expensive, but fair trade and all, you know. Reminds me of most of my relationships, actually. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty accurate comparison. Anyways, thanks for joining me on this journey of taking a yard truck and turning it into a downtown commuter. How many more commutes will it do? That's not important. The important part is she made it and we're here. So if you like what you see, please click that little subscribe button and also click the little bell one. I'm not sure what any of this means, but 
I hear it means you like what you see, and if that's the case, I'll make more videos. So, anyways, we have that super swanky meeting, and I'm almost there. So, until next time, we'll see you around, eh?